The Ant-Man 3 trailer is here, and let's take a look at it. I don't really like the effects in this shot. This has nothing to do with the actual trailer, but if you notice in Endgame, this is the actress who played grown-up Cassie. Here's what she looks like now. She's been recasted. Hmm. Also, here we see Ant-Man shaking hands with the same guy that fired him in the first movie, standing in front of an employee of the Century Award. You know, it would take a real good employee to replace a darn Avenger for the employee of the century. Then we see Ant-Man high-five this kid, who has an Ant-Man backpack, that's pretty cool. In this shot, I'm not sure how relevant to the story this is, but they're walking past this wall. Don't ask what it says, if you can read that, congratulations. Maybe that first word is education? I don't know. I also don't know how I feel about the premise to this story. Essentially, it's just Cassie says, Thank you, Spider-Man. Wrong clip. It's like a satellite for deep space, but Quana. And Michelle Pfeiffer's all like, You're sending a signal down to the quantum realm. Turn it off. Now. Did I stutter? That's certainly a premise. And it brings us here. So, I mean, that's... That's an interesting premise, but I'm not sure how much I'll feel about it. I'll have to actually see the movie to get a thought. <laughs> I just want to mention, in that shot, it looks like Ant-Man actually let go. That's pretty cool. That's just showing how he saw his daughter fall in, so he goes after her. I don't know, just felt like mentioning that. I saw this shot so many times in slow motion because I thought this was Doctor Doom. It's not Doctor Doom. I was pretty underwhelmed, but hey, I like Kang, so. Yo, it's Bill Murray! My thoughts on this shot, I think it's either Wasp or her mom. And if you look at that shadow behind her, it definitely looks pointed. And if you look in the clip I just showed, like you can see it shifting. My best guess is that's actually someone maybe with a spear. Oh my god, here's Kang the Conqueror charging a device with some orb, maybe like a battery. If you look in this shot where he is in this floating space you can see a figure off to the right that kind of looks like this battery we'll talk about this shot in like a second this is a scary shot heroic sacrifice maybe looking over to his daughter like i'm sorry as he goes and sacrifices himself that's a scary shot the music in this trailer is clever music can make or break a trailer like how i think it broke the black panther 2 trailer but it really made this trailer for me. Look at this space over here, the red area that this jet is flying into. Looks like two things, either chaos magic, but I doubt that. Maybe it's these red shards we see in the background of this clip, maybe? Oh man, this shot looks epic. You can tell it's Ant-Man trying to break out of this place, and then Kang's men are like, uh-uh, not so fast. Oh, I love it. I'm so excited to see this in the actual film. First of all, rest in peace Ant-Man here. Look at his face. This movie is not going to have the same tone as the other two Ant-Man movies. This movie is going to be special. And look at the way reality is like warping in these red lines around them. We'll remember that for a quick sec. You more time. Notice how Kang offers these two more time. It's because they, he, as in Hank, lost his time with his wife when he she went to the quantum realm so that's what he's really offering there oh my god this shot looks like the most confusing but greatest shot i think i've ever seen what the heck is this we have giant ant-man melting into ant-man who's running in a crowd of ant men that looks great my best bet for what's happening here Maybe some, like, weird Doctor Strange visuals, like, as he's running through the multiverse, he's, like, branching out. Another possible thing is we hear Ant we hear Kang the Conqueror offers him a job if he helps him. Maybe this is all the different variants of Ant-Man Kang has offered to help him all showing up at the same time. That would be pretty crazy. Look at the color of all the high-tech stuff in this shot. And look at this beautiful shot of Kang. You see the similarities here? By the way, I love this outfit for Kang. It's so great. Only real things I have to say about this shot is I don't really like Wasp's new suit. It feels more colorful, but, like, feels like they kind of messed with it too much. And I do like Cassie's new suit, so that's pretty cool. I can get you home. So if you heard that right, that was Kang the Conqueror's telling probably Ant-Man I can get you home. My best bet 
is Kang needs something that only Ant-Man can get in order to, like, get away out of the quantum realm. And that's why he's offering to get Ant-Man out of here. But at the same time, by getting Ant-Man out of there, he has a device to get himself out of there. I don't know, that's just a thought I have. And this is Kang. I think his suit looks like just enough high-tech and just enough not high-tech. And he has that scar on his face that makes him look like he's been through battle. Oh, I love this design. If you guys don't know, the actor for Kang is Jonathan Majors. He's playing the main villain in Creed 3. This is what he looks like. Yeah, Ant-Man's gonna be in for a beatdown. So, yeah, honestly, I dug this trailer. I used to think it's decent, but after breaking it down and seeing it more detailed, I love it so much more. The music, I think, is perfect for, like, an Ant-Man movie, and I think it's actually surprisingly good trailer music. I like the little high-tech, like, addings to it. So, yeah, I really liked this trailer. Ant-Man is totally going to die, whether it's MODOK, who wasn't showed in this trailer, or actually Kang the Conqueror. And it's gonna end, I bet, it's gonna end in a cliffhanger where Kang comes out and he's about to do some conquering. He's gonna go out and say it's conquering time. Watch.